traffic no factor, climb and maintain flight level 230. Southwest 2479, traffic 11 o'clock, 6 miles southwest, down descending to 11000, Boeing 737. 25 on the heading for 35 right, localize this guy with 5152. United 1833, contact tower 135.3. United 1833, good night. Uh, smooth below 9000. Thank you. 2575, Sky 6224, good day. From Dory, maintain 9000 until established on a localizer, cleared ILS, runway 35, right approach. That was 5224, Denver approach, expect moderate turbulence on the descent below 12,000. Fly heading 270, vector to final, maintain 13,000. All right, uh, 270, vector to final, we'll maintain 13,000, that's 5224. 4650. That's 4741, maintain 170 knots till front. 130 knots to front, 4741. Sky was 5368, maintain 170 knots to cord. 170 cord, Sky 5368. Southwest 480, turn left heading 080. Left 080, Southwest 40. Number 49, 46, uh, now we're on a 125, descending via the AL2. Denver, United 2161, descending through 223A via the T bar 2 with uh, the new ATIS. Get out of 2161, ever approach. Good afternoon, Pine Vector, Sedalis. 34 right approach. 34 right. 34 right. You got it, United. 2161. Oh, better answers than me. Get out of 2161, ever approach. Good afternoon, Pine Vector, Sedalis. 34 right. 34 right. You got it, United. 2161. United 644, contact approach 125.75. Good day. 2575, good day. 39644. Right. Got 5848, Denver approach, Roger. Southwest 480, turn left heading 020, intercept the runway 34 right localizer. Left 020, intercept 34 right localizer, southwest 480. Your transition will be an ILS 35 right, 35 right approach. Southwest 4187, contact approach 125.75. Have a good day. 2575, Southwest 4187. Approach Skywest 4809, uh, 25, 7 to 10 via the Class 3 with uh, Zulu. Southwest 4809, never approach. Good afternoon, plan for the Alice runway 35 right, 35 right approach. All right, 35 right, Skywest 4809. Angle at 10,000, cleared ILS, runway 34 right approach. Bangle 10,000, create ILS, 34 right, southwest, 40. Uh, so it's 4187, with you descending via out of 14.2. Uh, Southwest 4187, never approach, fly heading 280, vector to final, descend and maintain 13,000, and maintain your present speed. Okay, uh, present speed, uh, and we slow 250, and I uh, believe you said 280 on the heading. Southwest 4187, that's correct, descend and maintain 13,000. 13,000, Southwest 4187. Go 5224, descend and maintain 10,000, speed 210. All right, down to 10,000, speed 210, Sky 5224. United 644, descend and maintain 10,000. Descend and maintain 10,000, United 644. Until established on localizer, cleared ILS, runway 35, right approach. It does, so that was cleared ILS, approach 35, right, Sky 260. Yeah, 2288, Denver approach, expect ILS to runway 34 right approach, eight is Zulu current, wind 29011, Denver altimeter 2965. Okay, we'll get Zulu 2965 and expect uh, 34 right, you know, 2288. Oh, sweet, 4645, Roger. 51, 52, contact tower 132.35, good day. Sorry about that. Two hundred passes through uh, one eight point nine. This is yeah. Scott Fitz, two hundred approach. Good evening, advise eight is Zulu plan the Alice twenty three five left approach. We got Zulu. Sorry, we're leveling one on here. Uh, you guys weren't getting to send via. We were. We're just staving at mid shot. Okay, thanks. United twenty one sixty one. Turn riding zero eight zero. 
Weiss, a heading at 080 United, 2161. Level 230. 2.35, good day. Southwest 480, contact tower 135.3. 35, 3, good night, Southwest 480. United 644, turn right heading 325, intercept the runway 34, right localizer. Right to 325, intercept the 34, right localizer, United 644. Denver, Southwest 2369 280, descend and be the next two with Yankee. Southwest 2369, have approach. Good evening, Zulu is currently now advising. Get that plan for the Alice from 35 left approach. Moderate turbulence, pretty much 26 and below on and off there. Okay, we'll get it, thank you. Mango at 10,000, cleared ILS, runway 34 right approach. Cross Mango at 10,000, cleared ILS, runway 34 right approach, guys. 6224. Thanks for it, 125.75. United 2161. Denver, United 2161, descending through 12.5 or 1,000. United 2161, never approach, Roger. United 1821, 10, 10 degrees right, this is how positive stretch to maintain 1,3,000. 10 degrees to the right, pilot discretion 1, 3000, United 1821. United 1821, one able, proceed direct d to join the, rejoin the arrival. One able, direct d will rejoin the arrival, United 1821. Trace, at next, minus 22 feet. Southwest 4187, to right heading 325, intercept the runway 34, right localizer. 325 to intercept 34, right localizer, southwest. Uh, 4187. United 644, four miles from Bengal across, Bengal at 10,000, cleared ILS, runway 34, right approach. Bengal at uh, 10,000, cleared the ILS, 34 right, United 644. Skyway 5224, maintain 17, turn off, or greater to court. 70 or greater to court, Skyway 5224. Skyway at uh, 19,000, descending via the Clash 3. United uh, 2308, Denver approach, good afternoon. Change of transition will be an Alice, 35 right, Alice, 35 right approach. Scott's 4645, contact approach 120.8, have a good day. 20.8, Scott's 4645, see ya. United 580, contact approach 123.85, good day. 2385, United 580, good night. That's at 10,000, cleared the uh, ILS 34 right, southwest 4187. Southwest 4170. You can cross Bengal at or above 10,000, but reduce speed down to 170. Maintain that two course. Was that for 4187? Southwest 4187. Affirmative. You can cross Bengal at or above 10,000, but reduce your speed now to 170. Maintain that to course. Okay, Bengal at or above uh, 10, and now we reduced 170. United 2161. Turn 10 degrees left. Descend and maintain 10,000. Ten to the left, ascend to 10,000, United 2161. Level 280. Now it's 5848, turning 260. 3264, Scott's 5848. 34, maintain 170, not the cord. 170 to cord. 35 right, United 1240. Ron. 170 to Ron, Scott was 4650. Be in it until you turn downwind and expect moderate turbulence. 4210, descending via the Clash 335 right with Zulu. Scott's 5640, down approach. Good evening, Alpha. Current advising. Get that plan for the Alice from my 35 right approach. Alice 35 right, we'll advise with Alpha. Scott's 5640. Scott's 4809, contact approach 120.8. Good night. 20.8, Scott's 4809. Good day. Scott's 5200, contact approach 123.85. Good day. 2385, see ya. Scott's 5200. Starting at Chola and about 10 miles Connected south to of pilot us. Hitch. Okay, thanks. Down to Tanner Crater at 1590. Five right. Seven, thank you. Give it that turn. We'll see you. That clock's 
cleared the ILS 35 left United 58. Well, now United 644. We have 31 3 on the uh, AL 234 right with uh, Alpha. United yeah, 342, Denver approach. Good evening, expect ILS from my 34 right approach. 34 right. 975, good night. I will set display brightness. I went 5211, climb and maintain, flight level 230. Fairly uh, moderate, fair balance, fair flow level 350, and then pockets of it in and out between the L and head. Roger. 24, past 26.8, descending via the NICS 2 for 35 left with Alpha. Out of 1524, Denver approach. Good evening, climb back to dial S35 left approach. Climb back, 1524. Zero knots. Okay, two one zero knots. Clear to the ILS. Three five left from Boston. Got six two. United fifteen hundred. Or I'm sorry, United fifteen ninety. Make say one seven zero knots or greater to Diamond. Contact tower now one three three point three today. Okay, one seven zero greater to what? Uh, final approach to like Diamond. Okay, one seven zero greater to Diamond. Okay, fifteen ninety. Thanks. And call tower now, please, for the monitored approach one thirty three point three today. Two eight zero. Find two eight zero. Two eight zero. Go forty six forty five. guys hey das what's up buddy yep surprise stream i figured uh give this flight a try i don't usually fly this airport um uh pair because uh they're too far away from each other but the jet stream right now is like 120 knots up there at 33,000 feet so <laughs> i can get to denver pretty darn quick and let me, let me get this guy started here. So we're gonna use these guys, this guy, this guy. We'll drive them up and we'll go to Sam, connect the gate. There's no lights on the gate, that's Odd. I'm not sure why that is. Sir, was in the other room. Missed you coming on. That's all right. I was just saying uh, you were right. It's a uh, surprise stream uh, because the jet stream, which I'll show you here in a few minutes, is uh, crazy fast at 33,000 feet. So I usually don't do this uh, airport pair, but because it's uh, so much fast air up there, I figured I'd uh, give it a try. Open, 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 open. I guess that one uh, didn't open. Open. There we go. So yeah, it's just like super fast uh, air. And I'll show you what I mean. Let me get the, um, let's get this co-pilot to start doing something. Miss Lindy. So, we're going to do procedure and preliminary cockpit preparation. Preliminary cockpit preparation procedure. Engine one master, off. Oh man, you re two master, resubbed off. for two months in a row. Thanks, bud. Landing gear lever down position. I'll give it the um, the. Um, Left wiper selector off. Subscriber thing here in just a minute. 
Right wiper selector off. Not much appreciated. Battery one. Ride those auto. jet stream waves. That's right. That's the intent. Battery two. Auto. We're gonna go full speed ahead. External power on. All right. Um, all right, so while she is getting the cockpit set up, we are going to come over here, and we're doing Allegiant Virtual, and you can see the, uh, well, I'll show you the jet stream, so look at this. This is crazy. So we're going to have a straight-on tailwind of like 120 knots or so. So we're going to go 33,000 because I think that was the fastest. And that's just um, her doing a APU test. So she's getting the plane set up while we uh, get this set up. Alright, so let's get our fuel. And we'll file our IFR here. Six point two on the fuel. We're gonna go super fast. APU start on. Okay. Um twenty nine ninety eight. Oh, before I do that, I wanted to show you the air on up there at 33,000, the 120 the knots, 120 knot tailwind, 138 knot there, <laughs> 138 knot tailwind. So we're going to be, uh, I'm going to see if we can break some ground uh, speed Check. records here. We're going to be Flaps super retracted. fast. Speed brake retracted and disarmed. All right, 29, uh, 98. That's why I like this co-pilot. She's heat. getting the plane Auto. ready for us. 29, uh, 98. That's with a Yankee. And uh, we are going to be taking off Hydraulic northbound for Salt Lake City. And Denver is landing Engine north. No, that's bad sin. But... They're landing north as well. So completed. we're going to come over here to Pallet Edge and we're going to file our IFR. And we're going to do the this one. And we're Slant Lima 321, Allegiant, da, 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 Denver. Let me make sure that was the, yeah, that was 33. 33,000. And done. That's set. File. All right. So that's on file, and we'll go to live map there. So this is our route. I will brief the route before, or I'll brief the departure when we're fixing to take off. And we're doing Salt Lake. The winds are pretty okay down here, low. And then Denver is where the heck is Denver? Here's Denver. The winds are pretty, pretty okay right now. Got a little weather around Eagle and uh, Aspen and stuff. All right, <clears throat> let me see what I missed here. So, so overall weather, uh, we're in here somewhere. And a little bit of rain. So yeah, so we're gonna do got my a cars up and running okay back to the airplane where she's got things started yeah. she looks a little stiff yeah <laughs> I made a mistake at trying to fly that helicopter last night with real weather and did not look to see turbulent warning oh wow I wouldn't even try a helicopter. I wouldn't have a clue how to do a helicopter. Um, some sudden downdrafts and updrafts. Passengers utilizing every bag. 
right? Seven Lima Yankee, gotta love the winter jet stream. Yes, sir. All right, let me turn on my webcam. Here we go. Yeah, this jet stream's gonna be uh, getting us there quick. And uh, maybe I'll stream it for you. Yeah, that'd be cool. I did a flight last night into uh, JFK, not JFK, uh, LaGuardia, for the um, the nor'easter that they were dealing with up there. And I had one of my worst landings. I had 400 feet per minute. But I was in uh, flaps three config because of the wind shear. And I was about maybe 40 feet off the runway. And I got a wind gust that threw me back up in the air. And what I should have done was gone full power and flew the mist approach procedure. But nope, I thought I could save it. So I pulled back the yoke and tried to keep the flare in. And it was already too slow and I came crashing down. So, all right, we're gonna do procedure cockpit prep. Cockpit preparation procedure. In Montana mountains, there were sudden three to four thousand foot sudden drops in climbs. Wow. Probe window heat, auto. Classic case of get there itis. That's exactly what it was. And I'll be making more mistakes tonight because my brain doesn't work as good at night. But I haven't streamed in the evening in quite a while, so wanted to switch it up to a little night flying here battery charge checked all right doing our fire check One master off. Salt Lake City. Engine two master off. And airport. Flaps retracted. Speed brake retracted and disarmed. Yes, it is. Cockpit preparation completed. She wears sunglasses during the day. It's kind of funny. And Chemdog, what's up, bud? How you doing there? Uh, I know an evening stream, very rare. Yes, just because my... You'll see, I'm going to no doubt make a mistake, but that's fine because it's entertainment for you guys <laughs> to see how bad I missed it, how bad I make mistakes, but that's how it is. Plus, my camera sucks. Like, it's okay during the day, but with the lighting, it's not a very good camera for night lighting, but get what you pay for I only spent a couple dollars on this camera and uh, that says more is the planes it, um, she plane specific yeah um, yeah you have to buy her for either the 321 or the 319 tallest and then there's a, a guy version that you can get for jar design a320 I think and then uh, the 767 has one too, but the t tallest ones are the most current. I wouldn't try it with any others. Can you reskin her to be brunette? No, no, very, not that I'm aware of. Um, where's that? So you got select voice and and then you have all these commands, but I usually, I just mainly use the co-pilot for setting up the cockpit, like what I was doing for getting the clearance done, filed and such. And uh, the checklists, I like using it for the checklist and procedures. Um, I don't use the voice part of it that often because uh, it's just, it's kind of buggy, but it is what it is. All right. Uh, let's open up this cockpit door here and 
Let's see here. Let's load up the plane. So Simbrief said, let me get, let me get Simbrief going here. Flight planning, download, uh, a 321 Allegiant flying on pilot edge and streaming overlay copy and um, I should, should be able to get this going here there we go all right we got that up and all right we're gonna go going to go with zero extra cargo because passengers include cargo of 220 so we're going to go heavy but uh, 219 if I can get it 219 and so Simbrief says 69.7 oh that's because I added that all right 69.7 and we need 6.2 fuel. I'll just bump that up to 6.3. 6.3 CG is pretty good. So we're going to load that and we'll load that. Uh, 69.7286. 28.6 and 6.3 for fuel. We are loaded up there. What about Maker and Alien? <laughs> that would be funny. Uh, 7 Lima Yankee. Oh, a high chance of us seeing a possible pilot deviation tonight? You bet. There is a very good chance of that. <laughs> very good chance. Um, Alright, you got the uh, passengers loaded. We did the battery check, or she did. She checked the oil, I think. Yeah, APU is on, and we're over 168, so we don't need econ on. And we're going to switch over to APU gen. So we're going to let the ground crew know, and we're going to switch over external power, and we're going to get rid of the uh ground power unit okay and flight plans on file so now we need to grab uh, this thing let me uh switch to scene so you guys can see this and we're gonna log this in We are A A Y three eighty three. We're gonna do login and A A Y three eighty three. We're gonna send the login. We are logged in. We're gonna get our clearance probably in a couple seconds I know that they have reviewed the clearance because it didn't say login failed if it says login failed that just means that they didn't get it all right so we got our ATC message so we're gonna, we're gonna click on that and then I'm gonna immediately go to page two and hit standby that puts it in standby mode otherwise this whole thing will reject after 90 seconds uh, so this is and then we'll have to accept this which is the difference between a PDC PDC you don't have to acknowledge this you have to accept so that's the difference between PDC and CPDLC all right we're clear to Denver Airport rugged one party transition then it's filed so that's what I filed we're going to maintain 10,000 expect 330 after five minutes Departure frequency 135. 
Where's my notes? Here we go. One. One thirty five point five and every is that rugged one? Yeah, rugged one, one thirty five point five squawk thirty seven six thirty seven six. All right, so I am okay with what we got here so we're going to go ahead and accept the clearance and then that will turn from standby that will turn to closed which means there's no more uh, haggling back and forth so this is it if we didn't want this we could hit reject and then call up clearance and delivery and um, request something different or whatever but um, otherwise this is good enough so we're going to accept and that is our clearance so now I'm going to come back to the sim. The new system is going to be too convenient and make people dumb with getting verbal clearances. <laughs> no, not really, because it's only the airports that have the capability, and there's only like 10 or so. So all the other airports, you have to still do the voice and um, any type of GA plane, with the exception of a turboprop, um, they, they have to do voice clearances as well. Seven Lima Yankee, surprised you didn't get a 230 knot restriction. I seem to always get it departing out of Salt Lake. Yes, um, I actually wrote that down in my notes when I was planning this flight, because you're right. Um, and I bet the uh, either ground controller or uh, tower will give me that instruction. You may get that once on the tarmac. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. All right, so let's get this thing. Um, all right, we're at Salt Lake City and we are going to Denver. So I'll pop that in there. And then we're gonna come over here. We're gonna check our GPS. So we're at 44472. 44, 47, 2, so that matches that, 40, 47, 2, 111, 58, 7, so that one is correct, so we're going to align, and we are AAY, 383, cost index, 100, and we are cleared to flight level 330, And let's get some background noise going. We'll get ground control. We don't need clearance. So we're going to do ground is 0.9er. It's faster to use the inside thing on this. My SATEC panel. All right, pop that over. That's up. Turn that on. Turn those up a little bit. And towers 18.3. Three. All right. So I do need ATIS actually, so I know the runway again. Now, now we're gonna plan north because I looked at it. So we're gonna plan three, four right. All right. Flight plan: Salt Lake departure. Three, four right. Um, rugged one. Northman Tower, Walker 463, short one, ready for departure. Rugged one. Walker 463, Northman Tower, runway. And Purdy. Walker 463. Transition. All right, three four right, rugged one, Purdy transition. Dump that in there, and then uh, Denver. Uh, Denver's landing north. So let's let me see. Three five left. Let's see if they have a cool RNP approach by any chance. Three five left. 
Nope, nothing fun. Okay, so we'll just plan the ILS. 3 5 left, which is a cat 3. And a cat 3 would be no um, decision height. Alright, so 3 5 left. Hang on, guys. Right back. Okay. All right. Um, three, five left. And we're going to do longs one. Longs one arrival via camber. Camber. There's no via for the approach. And we'll get rid of the disco between the sit and the star. There's no airways or jetways in between for this flight. Purdy to camper. So we're going to clear out the disco. And we'll insert. And we'll make sure that all that looks good. So that's the runway. And then this is the SID Welcome here. Contact Seattle Center. Contact Seattle Center, Walker 463. So that looks fine. Right, and. Walker 463, Seattle Center item. Let me get the current weather. So ATIS is 126.15. Five miles west of Norbert VOR. Twenty-six fifteen. I'll pop that over. Is that? I might have the wrong frequency. Salt Lake, D eight is one twenty four seven five. Air. Twenty four seven five. Wind two nine or zero at eight. There we go. Visibility one zero. Few clouds at 4,000, few clouds at 7,500, ceiling 9 or 1,000 broken. Temperature 3, dew point minus 3, altimeter 2, 9 or 9 or 8. Arriving and departing runway 3, 2, 3, 4 left, 3, 4 right, 3, 5. Visual approaches in use. Simultaneous approaches to parallel runways in use. 2, 9 or 9 or 8. Departures, contact, and clearance, delivery. The elevation. Setting, altitude, and if flight following is requested, Read back runway assignments and hold short instructions. Four two Advise two two. Contact. You have information, Yankee. So we're good enough there. Altimeter is Salt within City seventy. Airport. All right, I need to get the A cars rolling. So let me see if I can get this A cars. I should be able okay, to. VA base. There we go. So we are departing Salt Lake City and we are going to Denver. Okay, so I want you to get a contact 9 miles south of the city. 383 and 219. 33. That's 0. And let me just grab the. Um, Put in this. All right, that's our route, and we're done with fueling. So we'll start the flight. So we're good there. Turn that back off. Okay. All right, A cars is on, seat belt is on. So, and I already punched in the um, flight plan. So now we go to wind, and we grab our winds, and we go to in it page two. We enter in the weight. 
Clear for takeoff. Maintain at or below 230 knots. Yeah, you know it. <laughs> I mean, I'm I'm expecting it. 69.7. Um, 28.6. 28.6. So we'll pop that up there. And our fuel is 6.2 on the low side. Go back to our perf, and we're going to do 47.60. And this equals out to 500 AGL. We'll leave that one where it is. Blast out of here at 230 knots, like we thought, or thinking we will. Decision height. It's actually, uh, you would put no if it was the flight factor, but with this co-pilot thing, it likes to have a decision height. So we'll just put in 100, even though it's a cat 3, which is no decision height. And go around, same thing, 500 EGL. So 59, 30. And all right, so that's good. So now... We need a engine out SID. So second, copy what we got. We're gonna go to rugged and we're gonna do Salt Lake City. So we'll come back to Salt Lake City if we have an emergency. And we'll plan three, four, what do I got here? Three, four right. So we'll insert that, and we'll just do a second uh, approach. We'll just make this 200 for decision, and the uh, weather is 2998. Temperature is 3. One six right via Quebec, Tango Charlie, uh, one three zero and the wind is 300 at 8. 300 eight. So that is our engine out, SID. So you can. I use the second flight plan for that. And then we can go to this thing. I have all these technical words, I know. Salt Lake center our city and three four right so we'll pop that in there so what this does is like if you need to know real fast how to get back to the runway you just click that and this will give you the distance and the bearing to the threshold of that runway so i do it for pre-flight and i do it for my arrival as well so it's kind of like a safety thing i guess all right, so let's go to perf, and we're gonna come up here. And we're gonna do two, three, four, right. 142 and 145, we're gonna flex 30. Wow, that's pretty low. And down two. Flaps two. Uh, 142, 145, flex 30. So that's with current weather. We'll double check that uh, when I update. Actually, yeah, I'll check it again. May have to change these, but we'll put it in just in case. 142 and 145, and that was flex 30. And we're going to do down 0.2 so down 0 0.2 pop that in there all right fuel pumps are on we are going to that clearance said climb via I think uh, oh no it said maintain one zero thousand okay so we're going to set this for one zero thousand. Is there a reason for not allowing 250? You mean on um, um, 
you mean here for the climb we were just talking about the 230 knot restriction that we're anticipating um, so I'm just getting ahead of the game if that's what you mean I'm just anticipating a 230 knot restriction all right um, so I hear my traffic global guys running around out here yeah, there he goes so we're gonna have ground ops gonna have them drive away oh the 230 was in question for the procedure why is it normal at Salt Lake I don't know the answer to that actually I I just know to um, expect it um, I'm assuming I'm assuming it's, Approach I mean, everything two, that they would do would be for obstacle clearance, right? So there's there's mountains on like, it, either side, like Salt Lake is in a valley. So I'm assuming it's 230 knots um, when you take off south to make a turn toward the north. They probably have you a lower speed to make sure you stay inside the mountains. That's the only thing I can think of. Now, we might be surprised, since we're in north flow operations right now, that we might not get a 230 restriction because we're going to just take off, take off north. Uh, so I'm going to be kind of interested to see what, he, what happens. Noise abatement. Yeah, I didn't think of that. So that's true, too. Uh, Seven Lima Yankee. Uh, terrain clearance, not sure, yeah. But uh, Salt Lake is the only one that's like this for sure. All right, let's close up our doors. Close, 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 close. Right, Pre-flight. Now to check to our lights. Please All the lights work. Turn that off. BSS sounds say Chicago, but I'm all right with that. All right, so let's get a pushback. I'll delete that and we'll come back here right about Sound there it works call me through the menu when you are ready Okay. I asked the same question on their Discord as well. They didn't know either. <laughs> the controllers don't know? That's hilarious. They're just following whatever the normal real world protocol is, probably. But yes, yeah, that's funny. But I'm with you. I'd have to guess it was, you know, the mountains. Maybe there's like a bunch of wind issues. I don't know. There's a reason for it. It's a mystery to us. All right, checklist. Uh, before start checklist. Before start checklist. Okay, all doors and hatches are closed. Welcome ready to the Let me check. Completed. Seattle Tower, Walker 306, ready for departure 16, 16, 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. Before start checklist down to the line completed. Alright. So connected and bypass Before start below inserted. the line. Release parking brake. Windows and doors. Closed. No, nope, that one's open. Begin. 
I just set on. Thrust levers. Parking brake. On. Transponder. Auto. Before start checklist below the line completed. I need to shut the door, so... Put that to auto. That should shut the door. There we go. And fuel stall 6.2, so we're good there. She already did the fire checks, and let's activate the um, engine start procedure. Engine start procedure. And we'll start a pushback here. All right. Starting engine two. Seattle departure, Walker 306, uh, 3.5, climbing via the Heron 6. And Gamer, Gamer, how you doing there? How are you doing this evening? Get, we are following the jet stream tonight. We're going to have a 120 knot tailwind. Put your guesses in now for ground speed. I'm guessing 520 at least. Five eighty. That'd be cool. If we get close to six hundred, that'd be really cool. One hundred and 120 knot tailwind, in some cases 138 knot tailwind. So we are going to be freaking hauling some ass, that's for sure. Operation complete. Go ahead and set the parking brake. Disconnecting tail. Stand by. I'm feeling really good. How are you? Hey, thanks for asking, bud. I'm doing good. Had enough energy to stream in the evening time. I usually don't. So, see how long my brain power lasts. Alright, uh, after engine start procedure. Engine start after start procedure. After start procedure. Engine mode selector normal. Lean forward and place the vest over your head. APU bleed off. APU off. And pull the strap to tighten. Spoilers are in. Rescue light is attached to each vest. Hell is disconnected and bypass stint has been removed. And please go to the left. We'll see you next time and have fun up there. Flaps to set. Please set flaps for takeoff position. Now I like to handle the flaps, so I'm going to reset it. After start procedure completed. All right, so that was after engine start. So now we need to do after start checklist after a start checklist anti-ice is off please set as required pedo heat is on ecam status we'll check it again ourselves rudder trim after start checklist completed all right uh really nice with linda yeah you have uh the linda co-pilot for the 737 but i will buy linda for the a321 yeah man it i like it, it it's very helpful like i was getting my clearance and doing the sending in my ifr flight plan and all that through the website while she was getting the plane set up so it's 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 actually very helpful and then I have the Flight Factor Airbus A320 when I uh, just want to do everything by myself. 
All right, so our speed brakes are aren't. Let's do a quick e cam check ourselves. So we're gonna go through. Make sure all that looks good. I am going to update the uh, weather. So let me shut welcome down. Where's that? I have to close this program. And I need to open up the weather desktop. FS Global Real Weather so I can get my weather injector going. So that way I have real weather. I mean, it was real weather, but FS Global Real Weather does a better job. If it decides to load. All right, um, cabin oxygen is on. A Airbus is a uh, lights out where Boeing is lights on. All right, uh, we're check our wipers. Standby is good. We're facing 330. 330, so that's fine. Trim is set by our co pilot. And let me see if I. Is the weather up yet? All right. Move this over here. Download the latest, and we'll switch this over to uh, flight config. We're going to go weather and manual. And then I'll connect the weather and we'll update our perf to make sure it matches. That way we have the uh, the winds aloft as well that this thing does a pretty good job with because we need that 130 something knot tailwind. Zero, Charlie, with good advice, we have some of the information on the Gulf. Expect the visual approach on which we zero left. All right, that's going to take a second to connect. Let's do a taxi procedure. Taxi procedure. Taxi lights on. Predictive wind shear system auto. Transponder on. Auto brake maximum set. Cabin report receive. All right, that did remind me though. I need to set this uh, code. Config normal. The code Taxi is Taxi procedure and we have 3076. We're going to check our controls real quick. So flight control, we got right, left, and rudders are working. So good there. And now that the weather is connected, let's double check our performance here. Contact center, so I've got 142, 145, and 30, and everything is still the same there. So good to go on the perf. APU is off, pedo heat is on, terrain, I'll turn that on turn that off and we're squawking and let's get our ATIS visibility one zero few clouds at 4,000 few clouds at 7,500 ceiling 900,000 broken temperature three she is very oh, good three. Linda helps a lot in the plane yes sir arriving and departing runway three two three four left three four right three five visual approaches in use Simultaneous approaches Welcome to parallel to runways in use. VFR departures contact clearance delivery. Advise okay, on course heading, altitude, and if flight following is requested. Read back all runway assigned and hold short two, instructions. Advise on left. initial contact. You have information yet. Two eight left, clear to land. Salt Lake City International Airport. A disinformation Yankee. Zero zero five four zero. Wind two nine or zero at eight. 
Visibility current with one Yankee. Few clouds at 4,000. Few clouds at 7,500. Ceiling 9,000 broken. Temperature 3. Dew point minus 3. Altimeter 2, 9 or 9 or 8. Arriving and departing runway 32. 2, 9 or 9 left. or 8. 3, 4 right. 3, 5. So we'll set Visual that. Approaches in use. And Final we're good. All right. Let me bring up the chart here. We're going to go down there. And we are current with the Yankee. Salt Lake City ground, Allegiant 383, the east side of the terminal, current with Yankee, radio taxi. Allegiant 383, Salt Lake ground, runway 34 right, taxi via hotel. 34 right, via hotel, Allegiant 383. All right, guys, we're going to, this is hotel right here. We are on our way. Charlie Whiskey, descend and maintain 6,000. Contact local approach 121.3. Track IR. I got my track IR assigned to a number key on my keyboard so that way I can switch views like super fast if I want. So yeah, it makes makes things much easier. Norcal approach, many seven zero zero Charlie Whiskey out of eight thousand four six thousand. Many seven zero zero Charlie Whiskey, Norcal approach. Proceed the direct glide. You send and maintain four thousand. All right. Can I get a spelling for that? Six zero Charlie Whiskey. Many zero Charlie Whiskey, initial approach, fix the glide. Kilo Lima, India, Delta Echo. Come down here to de icing pad. Roger, direct slide and out of 7,600 for 4,000. Zero Charlie with you. Local 463, descend the main Check my A cars to make sure it's connected. And just go to my Allegiant virtual website and it will show. Yep, shows I'm connected. So I will get credit for this flight. With the co-pilot, I uh, don't usually do the voice stuff just because it's kind of messed up. Walker 463, flight heading uh, 110, left of bridge. Yeah, looks like hotel zigzag to the left the here. Contact approach 118.42. Yeah. 118.42, Skyhigh 762. Number 2701, and look back with information, Victor. Tower. Uh, parking ramp 36, uh, zero in Quebec. Number 270, Quebec, Aston Ground, Roger. Yes, I would like a VFR departure. To Three, the north, four, uh, right zero is 1905, I believe. Zero in Quebec, Roger. Information Victor shows half a mile visibility, racing 200. Indefinite. Airport is IFA only. Pay attention. 1905, okay. So we'll come down here. Right, to to the you always go full the length unless um, unless they give you an intersection or you can request an intersection. Uh, uh, Roger that. But I if that has not been predetermined, you always have to roll down to full length. Send maintain 4,000. Advise when you have Mark Manuel weather and approach request. So we'll hold up here, hit the brake, and we're going to do 3 4 right. Three four right is 19.05. So we'll switch 1905. Departure is 135.5. So we'll do 135. Uh, 0.5. So we'll get that ready. 35. And we'll do a procedure uh, before. Take off. Before takeoff procedure. 
Thas T A R A. Strobe lights auto. Landing lights on. Before takeoff procedure completed. Alright, we are good. And we are going to be doing the uh, rugged one departure. So it's going to be basically vectors to rugged. And at uh, Bubby, we have to be above 11,000. And we are cleared to 10,000 initially. So, okay. Salt Lake City Tower, Allegiant 3D3, holding short, 348. Allegiant 3D3, Salt Lake Tower, fly, heading 340, runway 348, good for takeoff. Heading 340, 34 right, clear for takeoff, Allegiant 3D3. All right, so we don't have a speed restriction, so that might be a south flow thing only, I would guess. So we're going to do packs off. Clear right, and uh, we don't, hopefully we don't have any traffic global guys landing on top of us. All right, winds 300 at 8, and it's a little cloudy. So let's put the uh, procedure up top. Engines fifty per cent. Engines are stable. Airport's in sight for Walker 63. Walker 463, clear visual 14, Walker 63. Clear visual 14, Walker 63. Thrust set. She'll do a 100 knot call out, so we'll cross check the speed. 100 knots. There it goes. I'm putting in a little bit of right rudder on this. Pitch down, it's for speed. And we'll go climb thrust. And we're gonna turn to, we're gonna go straight out. Check thrust levers at climb position. They are, and she should Runway handle those. Off, lights off. She is. Taxi lights off. Packs her back on. Yep. Allegiant 383 on departure. Over to departure, Allegiant 383. See yep. All right, 135.5 is our departure. So Lake City departure, Allegiant 383. Uh, rugged one, leaving 5,900 for 10,000. Clear direct Bobby and climb via the SID, Allegiant 383. Alright, so the top altitude is 23,000. So we're going to go direct to Bobby and then take this up to 23. We'll go to managed and managed. We'll take the uh, rest of the flaps out. Walker 463, visual 14. Walker 463, Speed brakes are unarmed. Flaps are up. There's no icing to worry about at the moment. lower the sound a little bit. The wind gets super loud. All 
All right, we are up in the air. be getting a center of frequency here soon. Yeah, we're coming up to Bobby with be 11,000, which we are not, so I'm going to keep this. And we're going to uh, expedite the climb. It's that to be at 11,000. At Bubby. So we're pretty close, but I'm going to do it. I'll go back to manage. It, it didn't. Um, I'm on normal speed, Allegiant 383. Alright, so we made 11,000. So let me go turn that off. How do I turn it off? Uh, oh, I guess I can do that. There we go. So when you do exped expedited climb, it will um, go to our green dot or whatever that is. So what's the other restrictions? That might have been the only one, I reckon. Yeah, that was the only altitude one that we have to worry about. And we're above the mountains at this point, so I can turn that off. Push this one out to all the way out. Show the whole flight plan. And, and we'll be at Denver in no time. Let's see what the winds show at 33,000 right now where we are it's 93 knots but it's going to get faster um, as we get a little closer to Denver that's using my weather injector it's actually pretty good but so the bet was the highest speed so far that 7 Lima Yankee said it was uh, 580 for ground speed and uh, we're barely even trying right now we're already at 365 with a 25 knot tailwind so I'm anticipating over a hundred knot tailwind so that's going to really uh, push us all right landing lights are off I'm going to go to checklist after takeoff checklist after takeoff checklist Landing gear. Up. Flaps. Retracted. Packs. After takeoff checklist to the line completed. Roger that. Turn on our weather just in case. Since put it, uh, tilt it down one degree don't need those things on declutter all right cabin pressure is climbing cabin pressure is good And keep an eye on icing. The TAT is plus six. If TAT was negative 10 or below, and if we're in clouds, then I would be turning on my anti icing, but we're okay. TAT is always warmer than SAT because TAT factors in the uh, friction on the leading edge of the wing. So it actually, the, the air from clear at alpha five, parking the, um, the air creates friction, which creates heat, which warms up the surface of the wing. So TAT is what you use for icing. Bravo, three, this frequency has a good one. 
Charlie Bravo 3 to Millionaire Walker 4C3. Bedford Tower with the Alpha Bravo 3 to Millionaire Walker 463. Alpha Bravo 3 Millionaire. Walker 463. Okay. Morning, Charlie. Contact Sun of Eta 124.0. Allegiant uh, 33 contact Salt Lake Center 135.77. Salt Lake Center 135.77, Allegiant 33. 135, just pop this over and we'll uh, bring this up to 77. Turn it back. 3577. Um, Salt Lake Center, Allegiant 3D3, climbing via the rugged one, leaving 17,900. Allegiant 3D3, Salt Lake Center, climbing, maintain flight level 330. Climb, maintain flight level 330, Allegiant 3D3. Alright, we'll go to standard. Below the line. Standard. Zero. Cross check. Standard set cross checked. All right. After takeoff checklist below the line King completed. Five, Fox, the descent, the Do uh, seat belts off. Seat belts off. Uh, down to one five thousand three zero two four five 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 shot. I'll be coming out of the clouds soon. We're already up to almost five hundred knots King ground speed. Fox, I show you, uh, <laughs> six miles west of Victor three thirty two diverging. We are moving. Uh, roger that, I'll correct. Seven Lima five, Yankee, 21 knot yeah. tailwind already, I know. 22 Seattle degrees Center, Celsius Center, 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 in the Center, cabin, Center, giving your packs to full Allegiant experience. Tw 22 degrees Center, would be, it's Celsius, right? So isn't that, wait a minute, what is 22 degrees Celsius? No, now I'm curious, 22, Celsius to Fahrenheit is 71.6 <laughs> so yeah we're gonna get a little bit cooler to for us uh, but yeah so okay, 21 for us and the rest of the passengers will be at 22 Just broke 500 knots, cross the ground. Uh, Tailwind speed 57 knots. We can make a request, but you're halfway through it's near the wall. If you have a request, you need to say it's just calling. Yeah, now my, uh, my weather injector is showing where we're at now at 33,000 feet, 110 knot tailwind. So. We're getting there. This is going to so keep question, increasing. Request, Skyhawk, two, seven, zero, one, Quebec. Skyhawk, zero, one, Quebec. Uh, runway three, three, taxi, day, Alpha. Seattle Center, Walker three, zero, six is back on frequency. Roger. That's interesting, the only altitude and or speed restriction is Bubby. We've already made it this far, pretty quick. Yeah, that's the only altitude and speed on this entire SID. Let me get rid of that. We'll be at our top of climb right here. So we've got about 60 miles. I don't think I can update the uh, the winds after, yeah. We can only update the winds um, for the descent, but we have to get within 20 miles of our top of descent before we can do that. Man, I think we're gonna bust 600. We're already at 540 ground speed, 73 knot tailwind. I think we're going to bust 600, y'all.
Finally breaking out of this this muck. Charlie, whiskey turn left, next taxiway. Taxi to parking via Golf. Victor, monitor ground, have a good one. King of 5, Charlie, Fox, contact, local approach, 127.4. See what the uh, weather is at Denver. Denver is winds one, I mean zero one zero, seventeen to twenty four. It's gusting to twenty four. Okay. Five forty five. King of three five chair the fox at local approach. Eighty three knot tail. Advise we have a mother altimeter and approach request. Could turn off the commercial lighting so you can sit back here, otherwise it's too bright. King of five chair fox and expect that. The lighting on this airplane has really done well. Except you can't control the uh, cabin lighting like you can with the Flight Factor Airbus. You can only turn it on and off. So it's either bright as the sun or it's off. might not we might not hit 600 seems to be uh, stabilizing right around 550 knots ground speed but that's knots so miles per hour is let me see here uh, 550 knots two miles per hour so we're traveling 632 miles per hour across the ground right now <laughs> And it's only going to get faster because we still haven't hit the top uh, tailwind speeds yet. I sure wouldn't want to go the other way. That would take forever. be doing the longs one into Denver so that would be an arrival and it's longs longs one And an approach will figure three, what did I say earlier, three five left. ILS three five left is a cat two or three, which is auto land capable. And our gates, our airport rather. And then gates, Allegiant Parks at Charlie. So we're going to plan on 3 5 left. So those are our restrictions. I'll take a closer eye at that in a little bit. All right. Just about hitting a 100 knot tailwind, and we're at 560. And I think. 
like, uh, what did you say earlier? You had 580 was your uh, guess. That's pretty good. It's a pretty good guess. It should be. Um, the winds get stronger the closer we get to Denver, so that would be interesting. I just passed 100 knot tailwind. And you had said 580, so we'll see if we can hit your 580. Don 558. Five, we'll just say 560. So 644 miles an hour is what we're doing. <laughs> this is cool. Portal approach, go to Tilnook Airport as filed, maintain 6000, departure frequency 118.42. Five, Gusting 23 okay. knots at Denver. Ah, uh, yeah, I know. I'm not looking forward to that. But it's pretty much it's pretty much out of the north. Earlier it was um, out of the west. Um, but there's also wind shear. But I think we have the wind shear turned on. Yeah, that's that's on the wind shear warning. Now our co-pilot will be doing a uh, check here. She'll be doing all the ECAM checks when we get to our cruise. So yeah, we're going to definitely have to plan the uh, north transition. And uh, they might assign me a runway. I don't know. We'll find out. Three, five left is probably the one if I had to guess. She never turns off the light. <laughs> All right, our top of descent is at 0230. So we got 10 minute cruise and we are at. Allegiant 333, contact Denver Center 133.67. Denver Center 133.67, Allegiant 383. 1367. Let's come down here. One, three, three, six, seven. Pop that back over. Denver Center, Legion three eighty three, flight level three three zero. Legion three Denver Center descent via the longs one arrival. Descend via the longs one arrival, Legion three eighty three. Dude, we did it. <laughs> oh my god. 593 knots. Come on, 600. 595. Let's do 600. Come on. I'm just going to round this up. I'm going to say we're doing 600 knots. So that's like 690 miles an hour. <laughs> 690 miles an hour, y'all. Now, of any GA streamers installing X Plane 11 on Steam, hoping to learn proper realistic GA procedures, honeycomb yoke and throttle quadrant. Nice, very nice. Uh, crosswind rudder. Or Rosswind rudder pedals. Sorry for typos. Uh, no problem, dude. 
Seven Lima Yankee Bio Billy is a really good GA streamer. He has a PPL and follows GA procedures meticulously. That's cool. Thanks so much to learn, but I have memory issues, so harder to learn. Hey, you know what Apollo's best friend is? Notes. I read, like, all my ATC stuff. I just write it down, and, I, you know, I pretty much know the phraseology at this point, because I fly every day, but um, I still write it down, and I pretty much read, um, and procedures are all written, so you can just, you know, like, the procedures are here so there's not much to memorize per se other than just understanding what this stuff means um, and GA of course is different from tube liners like this but I fly both I do GA and airliner I do it all to uh, turboprop everything so um, if you like my stream I always stream on pilot edge and or bat sim but there always will be ATC component to it not always, 99% of the time. ATC scares me. Never been a pilot. Um, it, it's scary to everybody at first, but you get used to it. And uh, if you want to get to be a pilot in the real world, what not a better platform to learn and, and crush the uh, fear of, eight, of uh, radio stuff um, than doing it online. And I got my training, I started on VATSIM, and I flew on VATSIM for probably a year before, man, I'm trying to get to 600. Here, I know, I'm, I'm going to cheat. I want to bust 600 knots. I'll finish what I was saying here in a second. 135 knot tailwind. Here we go. 600. <laughs> I cheated, but it's okay. 602 knots. I'm still getting faster. 135 uh, 135 knot tailwind. And we're doing 607 knots across the ground. So that is 609. I'll just round that up to 610. We're doing 701 miles per hour across the ground. 700 miles an hour. But, so yeah, so I started on VATSIM, which is free. Now the, the network I'm flying on right now is a uh, subscription based. Um, so I pay, uh, you can pay $20 a month for the Western expansion or the ZLA or 35 for both. So naturally I pay 35 because this is what I live for. I love the ATC stuff. And, you know, doing all real-world procedures, it's just, it's fun. Um, but if you go to a website called, let me see if I can find it. Um, let me make sure this website is still here. Yeah, it's called VATSTAR. It's free, and it's just awesome training. So take a look at this website and sign up and take their their pilot certifications. They will assign you an instructor and they will help you with the, the, the certification courses which covers VFR and IFR and even oceanic. Um, you can get oceanic training as well. I am reading for VATSIM new member orientation course now. Oakland Center, welcome 306. Yeah, VATSTAR is where I got my 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 training to begin with. Sky High 762, Portland departure item. 610. And then after uh, VATSTAR, then um, you can try Pilot Edge after you've been on VATSIM for a while and go through the CAT ratings and the I ratings and it and they have a bunch of seminars too so
All right. So the weather for D Atis, let me get D Atis at Denver. Um, 29.7, 29.7. The temperature is five Celsius. So that is 41 Fahrenheit, so it's not freezing. Um, the winds right now are zero one zero. It's 14 gusts in a 23, so we'll go about 18. And uh, we'll update our winds. Wind request and uh, we have to wait for that to come alive. Um, we'll come back to that. Second flight plan, we'll delete that and um, do Denver. Denver. So that way we have a second one to play with for a different arrival if need be. Um, So I have to wait for this little asterisk to come alive, which is usually about 20 miles from our top of descent, which we're coming up to. I think this is the fastest I've ever gone across the, across the ground, 700 miles an hour. All right, um, and that's with information on Sierra 2970. So I'll be departing our last assigned altitude, which is 33,000, and then uh, which is flight level. In the U.S., anything over 18,000 feet is you call it flight levels. Under under the 18,000, you go by thousands. Let's go back to that. Slow down, and we're gonna. There's our asterisk. So now we can call up our descent winds. So there's our descent winds. That will readjust our top of descent. And this shows bike is a altitude restriction, I guess, of uh, flight level 270. So we gotta be above, if the line is under it, that means you gotta be above it. So we gotta be above 270. We gotta be above 190. And here we gotta be between, cause there's a line above and below. We got to be between flight level 210 and 16,000. So between 16,000 and 21,000. And then we're going to have to be on a, um, a um, intersection or um, tran trans transition. Transition. These are runway transitions. So we're going to plan, or we already planned, three, five left, which would be Hyman, Hi Mom. So we'll make sure that Hi Mom is the last one, which it is. So we know we have the right transition for 3-5 left. And we're going to be departing our crews here. So the lowest we can go is 11,000. So we're going to reset our MCP for 11,000. And then we'll start on our way down here in just a moment. Kenya 5 Charlie, Foxtrot, change to advisory, frequency approved. Report cancellation VFR in the air, this frequency on the ground, 122.2. The crew now, start on our way. And once you depart your last assign, you let him know. Denver Center, Allegiant 3D3, leaving 330. All right, let me get back to the chat here. Uh, trying to decide if I want a better computer or a flight sim cockpit. Well, they kind of go hand in hand, right? Uh, my computer is two to three years old, but decent i7-8700, NVIDIA 1080, video 16 gigs. Um, the, what I would do is immediately double your, your RAM 
get 32 gigs, no less than 32 gigs of RAM. Everything else that you currently have is fine. I have the i7-9700 and the GTX 1080. So we're basically the same computer, except I have eight cores where you have six, I believe, for your um, processor. But, um, yeah, your your computer's fine, man. The, uh, and things are moving to Vulcan, too. Uh, X-Plane already has a Vulcan, you know. So, I think you'd be okay on a cockpit. But you might need a second computer to run a, uh, a full cockpit. I don't know. I just have little add-ons that plug in the USBs, so... I don't know anything about cockpit building, that's for sure. Turn that on. Might struggle with Microsoft Flight Simulator? I don't think so, because I have it, I just don't fly it because it's right now it's more of a game than it is a simulator it looks incredible it looks better than x-plane but there's no way <laughs> that you can they, they don't even have any payware airplanes really at least not yet nothing worth anything so if you want a gold standard uh, flight sim just stick with x-plane for the next couple years um, invest in x-plane and the aircraft that come with x-plane because you can't beat the high fidelity aircraft that's available for this flight sim. Um, Microsoft is great for just tooling around VFR and sightseeing and you know all that's great but if you want to do any kind of um, procedures and complicated stuff uh, you want to stay away from Microsoft Flight Simulator but when you in terms of running it it runs okay on my system, and like I said, we basically have the same system. So you'd be fine with it. It looks great. I'll give it that. Alright, so our... ILS is 108.5353, 108... Five. Sky Three five two. That's close enough. Okay. Sky seven uh, sixty two. Three zero three five. Advise when you have the weather and approach request. No longer doing uh, uh, seven hundred miles an hour. We can approach request in a second. Sky seven sixty two. Weather. Denver approach 120.35, Allegiant 383. One, two, zero. That's what happens when the weather updates. And three, five. Three, five. Holy crap, what is this thing doing? Alright, we are current with Tango. And... Am I still on profile? No. I am. Transition level. Sixteen and twenty-one. Yeah, I'm okay. All right, so let's do uh, twenty-nine seventy. Is that going to stop? I 
Oh, the autopilot went off. Glad I caught that. Okay. So we are a little bit in violation, but that's okay. We'll just hold up here. Denver approach, Allegiant 383, just descending the uh, Longs 1, leaving 14,800, and I'm current with Tango. Allegiant 383, Denver approach, expect ILS, runway 35 left approach. Expect ILS 35 left approach, Allegiant 383. Well, there you go, 7 Lima Yankee. There's your pilot deviation. I promised you. <laughs> All the pilot kicked off. All right, so let's go back to managed mode. We should be okay. The speed is 250, so yeah. Turn the sounds back up. Water, Walter White. Um, how you doing? Mohawk Aviator, I agree with your assessment of X-Plane. Ah, oh, thanks, man. Yeah, that's, uh, I mean, I have both, so. I, I, I think the, the Microsoft Flight Simulator has huge potential. It's just gonna take a while. Um, but I would say, you know, in a few years time that Microsoft will be you know next gen for sure for sure for sure but right now you know all my investments are going into x-plane like there's still a bunch of airplanes that are coming out for x-plane that are just super like the um the rotate md11 that's gonna they just you probably saw who's, who said that mohawk avia you probably saw the preview or i'm sure some of you guys saw the preview on the rotates airplane that looks freaking phenomenal. I'm going to be doing a lot more FedEx flying, that's for sure. Oakland Center, King Air 35, Charlie Fox Drive, one on the ground. 23. King Air 35, Charlie Fox, Oakland Center, IFA Constellation, the receipts have been made. 835. 2385. Coming into Denver on the train 15 and 17. Over to 600. Oh. What is going on with this thing? It's not, it's not, uh, I need to wait for the um, profile to come back. It's not following the profile very good. Like I'm under to 15,000. Dork is 15 to 17. So I'll just wait for the profile to come down. <laughs> Due to the serious nature of this violation, I recommend you do the I ratings, which can be found on the Pilot Edge website. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> it is a it is a violation. Like it's my responsibility to abide by these altitude restraints, regardless if the autopilot is borked. Um, so, um, Seven Lima Yankee is right. I am in violation. Hopefully this thing will start working right again. We don't have too much further to go. Sorry, I'm French. I use Google Translate. It works pretty good. Uh, I am two hours from St. Tropez. Yeah. Tropez. St. Tropez, 
you're going to do a flight again after? No, it's pretty late where I'm at. I just wanted to see if I could break these ground speed records. <laughs> so it's, uh, which I did. We hit 700 miles an hour because of the tailwind. I had a hundred and, uh, it was like 130 something knot tailwind. It was crazy. It's like 250, so the speed's okay. And then we have to descend down here. All right, so we're gonna plan three, five left. Three, five left. Do program uh, Denver three five left for our descent. So we're 16 miles away. No kidding. And then we'll update our winds and such. So Denver's weather is zero one zero at 18. So that's all still valid. Yeah, that's all still good. Our profile dot should be coming down any moment. And uh, max landing weight 77. We're at 73.2, so we are under our max landing weight. checklist briefing I do need to check status seat belts will set on barrel QNH two nine six nine set Okay, now we're following the green dot. Minimum. One hundred set. All right. Collector. Normal's fine. Not in normal. Please check it. Approach checklist completed. Why is that not in normal? All right, the landing lights. Change the visor frequency approved. Uh, uh, the lights won't one, come two, on two, here. Allegiant 3 contact approach 123.85. Denver approach 12385, Allegiant 383. Approach phase activated. Denver approach, Allegiant 383, uh, 1 1000. Allegiant 3 defeat on approach, ultimate at 3 0, station 29, 7 0. 29 or 7 0, Allegiant 383. And what is the speed departing this? Uh, I need to brief the missed approach to. So let me hold the speed up here. So the speed is 210, so we'll slow down to 210 here. 210 and we'll do flaps one and tower is 130 uh, descend and maintain 8,000 8, on Legion 383 uh, missed approach will be climb to 10,000 and then right turn direct to the gill VOR that should be on there, which it is, and hold. So we are good with that. The procedure performance is already activated, like she said. Laning lights are. She'll be turning them on here shortly. And the winds are crazy. Alright, descend, land. 
do ILS on this side. I'll turn that off, turn that off. And Sometimes she'll handle the lights and sometimes she won't. And towers 133.3, so we get tower ready. Norcal approach, Walker 306, level 19 or 4, descending via the bodega 3 with Yankee. Walker 306, I'm approaching, expect tower, can we do it, left approach? Slow down to about 190. Okay, can we request uh, 2 8 right? Roger, thanks. Elegant 323, turn on the left, heading 075. Left turn 075, Allegiant 383. 075, we're slowing to 200 knots, I mean 190. Go flaps 2. And we're going to do a flaps three. Let me see what the winds are now. Oh, they're not bad. We'll do flaps full for this landing. It's 13 knots. It's still a little gusty, but it's right. that and we're gonna arm that and missed would be 10,000 straight out okay Left turn zero two zero, Legion three eighty three. Legion three eighty three, seven miles from Diamond, maintain eight thousand until established on the localizer. Clear ILS runway three five left approach. Maintain eight thousand until established on the localizer. Cleared ILS three five left approach, Legion three eighty three. Diamond will not cycle unless I do direct two. So we're just going to do direct two. And we're on a zero two zero heading. So we'll go back to heading. And that way the approach will cycle properly. Of course, I need the approach active. There we go. Now the missed approach procedure will work properly. Slow this down to 170, and then um, Legion 3 to 3, contact tower 133.3. Denver Tower 133.3, Legion 383. Go to Tower 33.3. Gear down. Denver Tower, Legion 3D3, stop shuttle localizer, 3 5 lift. Legion 3D3, Denver Tower, Legion 3 5 lift, lift 11. 3 5 left, Kurt Atlanta, Legion 3D3. Checklist and. Yeah. Yeah. Gonna go flaps full and reset for mist and checklist will be landing checklist. Landing checklist. Cabin crew advised. 
missed approach altitude. Auto thrust. Auto brake. Ecam memo. Landing no blue. Checklist completed. All right, we are good Runway there. Lights on. Taxi lights take off. Make to the final approach course. That's heading 105, Alright, altitude and all that is set. We are good. If we need to fly the mist, we're going to go full throttle. Flaps 3, gear up. Uh, up. Yep. And what I missed there. Hey, thanks for the follow there, uh, Bala. That's a cool name. <laughs> And uh, the Toll is 321, nice. Yeah, I love this plane. Especially with all the add-ons you can get for it. It's, it has so much to offer. It's got the co-pilot. I'm using the, the blue, whatever, BSS sounds. 120-185 is our ground control. Pilot, take her down to about uh, 300. It's just easier. All right, autopilot off my plane. Yeah, it is breezy. Passengers are like, what the F, dude? Whoa. It's gusty, too. I am not good at landing this plane yet. All right, reverser is on. Especially when it's choppy winds like this. Wasn't graceful, but we got her down. Seventy knots. Walker 3 to the city, December maintains 4,000. And a 4,000 Walker 306. Right. Allegiant 383, taxi 38 via mic, monitor ground, Allegiant 383, see ya. Alright, so we're going to go to ground control and we'll monitor that. And we'll turn off our landing lights. Charlie's at the top, so we're gonna go up to Charlie. Got Traffic Global sitting there. And then we'll do after landing checklist. After landing checklist. Flaps. Retracted. Spoilers. Disarmed. APU. Started. Okay. Radar. Off. Predictive wind shear system. Off. After landing checklist completed. Alright. 
190. You fly the, um, right the Flight Factor 320? Yeah, I got that too. It's probably my favorite plane. This one's fun as hell, but you can't beat the 320 for the Flight Factor 320 when it comes to systems. Um, so I want to buy a Tolos A321. Yeah, I mean, this is definitely the best runner-up to the Flight Factor A320. Um, if you're looking for an awesome freighter, then I would suggest the Innibuilds A300 is uh, probably my favorite freighter. I fly that all the time. Uh, let's park here. I'll park over here by these United guys. Walker 306, five miles from seven, maintain 3100 until established on the localizer. Good ILS runway to the Taxi lights on. Well, pff, I turned them off, she turned them back on. 3100 until established. Maintain 3100 until established and cleared ILS runway 28 right approach, Walker 306. Alright, park break is on. I always. Cat 3, not bad, better than me. <laughs> well, it it's um, it was gusting, now the winds calmed down. It was gusting like 25 when I was landing. But um, Cat 3 is auto land, and you can't auto land at every airport. So only like major, you know, Bravo airports will have the Cat 3 availability. So... That was certainly not my best landing, uh, but it's all right. It's all for fun, and I actually thought it was pretty good, Mohawk. Hey, thanks, man. Yeah, like the actual touchdown wasn't too bad. Let me see what it says: 3:30 um, feet per minute. So that that wasn't horrible. I feel the audience simulated flight is very small. I simulated flight is very small. Yeah. All right, let's. Walker three zero six contact. Somebody who's got a Turn that off. Turn that off. Turn that off. Walker three zero six here. And uh, we'll shut down. Actually, I'll have. We'll have. Um, we'll have her Parking shut it down. Procedure. Parking brake. San Francisco on. Tower, Walker 306, uh, ILS 28 right. APU bleed on. Walker 306, engine on. 1 master, off. Clear right, clear to land. Clear engine land, 2 master, right, right, Walker 306. off. And we'll call over the gate. Transponder off. Parking procedure completed. And we'll come here and open up this door. It's going to correct itself. All right. So we can have we can have her secure the Securing aircraft. The aircraft procedure. You're going to be on PE tomorrow. Might take the 320 up tomorrow afternoon. Um, what is tomorrow? Yes. No, actually. I won't be. Um, I'm going to be doing a um, another random stream. Um, I'm going to be testing out the uh, C-130, which I'm going to be using for a hurricane hunt. Um, I'm, so I'm going to be testing that tomorrow. I'm probably, I'm, I'm probably going to live stream it. But tomorrow night I'll probably be back on PE. But Friday is my normal stream day, and I'll definitely be on Pilot Edge on Friday. APU master switch off. I don't have a flight rocker, so I cat three. Battery one and two off. Oh. <laughs> Securing Most airports will not support completed. cat three. Need to pass the exam to obtain relevant qualifications, but many European countries don't allow it at all. That's interesting. I didn't know that. Let's go.
Disconnected. Disconnect there. Go to my A cars. Get credit for the flight. That actually showed a uh, my A cars. What does it show? It shows 261 feet per minute. So that. Wait a minute. What is it? No, I don't know where it is. That's all right. All right, we'll complete that and let me see if I can do a replay. Always make sure you have signed off before you do your replay. Because the replay will put you right back in the air and the radar, as far as the uh, controllers are concerned, you are in the air. Activated. Let's see if I land at least softly. Mm. <laughs> it was a little hard. Man. That was loud. Ground spoilers. Reverse green. <laughs> Jump, yeah, sure did. <laughs> uh. All right, guys, well, I am going to adjourn for the evening. That was fun, and I'll catch you. We'll do another group fight again, uh, Lima Seven Lima Yankee. That was fun. That that day we flew into uh, I think it was Telluride. So, and if you like the uh, the A320, the Flight Factor A320, let's just plan a day next week. And we'll do a group flight. Uh, we'll do a A320 flight next week. Um, so, yeah. Sounds good. When you do a replay, it messes up traffic global. You lose all the airplanes. <laughs> That's okay. All right, y'all. Good times. Y'all have a good night. Thanks for hanging out. Good night. Yeah, I'm heading out, bud. We will see y'all next time. And check out my YouTube channel. It's it's uh, linked below. I've got all my airplanes um, on playlist. So if you want to see me fly a specific aircraft, just go to my YouTube channel, click on playlist, and then you click on the airplane, and it's the playlist is nothing but that airplane. So, all right, y'all. Gonna go watch some TV with the wife. Talk to y'all later. Chase out. Five three now, United twenty one sixty one. Skywest forty seven twenty eight, contact Denver Center one three three point nine or five. Okay. Forty six forty five. Now the way to nine thousand, please. Speed down to nine. Skywest forty six forty five. Denver Southwest twenty three sixty nine sixteen to one two thousand. Southwest 2369, Denver approach, Roger, plan the ILS 35 left, and actually at Boss, at Boss, you are cleared ILS, runway 35 left. At Boss, clear the ILS 35 left, Southwest 2369. Turn left, heading 080. Left, 080, Scott 4764. Skywest 4706, climb and maintain, flight level 230. I was 4728, contact Denver Center 133.9 or 5, connect. Denver approach, stop us. 1923 is out of 267, descending via the AL234 right transition with Alpha. So was 1923, Denver approach, expect the ILS 234 right approach. Plan the ILS 34 right, stop us 1923, and we're also assigned 269. Roger. 7 number approach, uh, Roger, and maintain your present speed or greater. What is your current speed? Uh, 170 currently, the seven. All right, is that as fast as you can go on final level? Um, we might be able to get uh, about 10 more knots, but yeah, we're we're pushing it with that with the turbulence. Seven, 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 Roger, present speed or greater. Present or greater, with seven. Skywest 4764, turn left, heading 010, intercept the runway 34, right localizer. 
Left zero one zero intercept the three four right localizer sky forty seven sixty four. Three fifty six. I'm at a block to your cleared ILS runway three five left at Boston. A cleared ILS three five left at Boston. United three fifty six. No problem. Left twenty three five right approach. Okay. Cleared ILS uh, three five right after Pearl. United twenty three oh eight. Approach. Picking up my.